this is an artist's rendering of what the proposed Maui Medical Plaza will look like. In the upper left corner is a cruise ship docked at Kahului Harbor, and to the right is the Kanaha Wildlife Sanctuary. A partnership called Kanaha Professional Plaza is requesting approval from the Maui Planning Commission for a six-story, 133,000 square foot building with an attached five-story, 365 stall parking garage at 151 Hana Highway, directly adjacent to the Kanaha Wildlife Sanctuary. They need approval from the Commission of an environmental assessment supporting a special management area use permit. Action on the SMA use permit will come after the Planning Commission accepts what is called a FONSI. That is, that they agree that this six-story building with a five-story parking structure has a finding of no significant impact on the surrounding area. This project has been before the Planning Commission on July 27th and August 10, 2010, and they conducted an on-site inspection on September 14, 2010. A third meeting was held on April 26, 2011, and the commissioners deferred the project. The medical building is currently on the agenda for the May 24th Planning Commission meeting. That gray area in the middle of Lot 8 is the area that has been uh, officially determined by the Department of Army to be a jurisdictional wetland. This proposed professional building is going to be built on what is referred to as jurisdictional wetlands. The property will need to be excavated and leveled, numerous pilings will be driven down to the bedrock, and raised to seven and one half feet above sea level with landfill. I am the development partner, and uh, the construction discussions at this point do call for fill, and w there will be an excavation of some of the soils that have been dredged and deposited on the property now, and a new engineered fill placed at the property to raise it uh, to a, a technical elevation of, of 7.6 feet, and that's about a foot higher than Hana Highway is now and that will assist us in the creation of the retention ponds for the runoff later. And the support structure and the foundation for the first floor and the entire facility will extend through the new engineered fill down to the bedrock because the clay and the jock of sand that is in that area and you know it supports Midway Center and it supports Shell oil, it's everything between Kanaha Pond and the harbor. It's jock sand and it's clay and it's, it was dredged material. And we, this sort of a facility will have to be stabilized with um, caissons or pilings or something of that sort. And the engineered fill will be on top between the ground floor and the water table. It's Irene Bowie. Um, I'm the executive director of Maui Tomorrow Foundation. And I was at the uh, two former meetings here at the Planning Commission when the project uh, was on the agenda. I would just like to state that um, I think although the developers present this project as urban infill, that it, and that it's not part of the scenic view corridor, losing nearly an acre of jurisdictional wetlands for the development of a six-story structure is not in keeping with the spirit of urban infill and redevelopment projects. Maui Tomorrow feels that this area is indeed a part of the scenic view corridor for Central Maui and that 
it does not meet the, uh, the goals of, uh, of the uh, 2030 Maui Island Plan for promoting sustainable land use planning and development and protecting the natural environment. And um, as I stated when I was here before, I would also like to comment that the, proje the project's developers claim that a lack of office space is preventing doctors from practicing on Maui, but the overwhelming fact is that the level of reimbursement for physicians practicing in Maui County is low, as Medicare defines this area, er area as rural, as opposed to Honolulu, which defines it as urban, Therefore, doctors practicing in Honolulu get paid a better rate than doctors on Maui. Um, the fear is that this is going to be yet one more building that's going to be built, and it's not going to be filled up. If you go just a little bit further down the road, you'll find a multi-story building on the Mercedes dealership that has never had one space leased in there, and that thing has been in existence for a few years now. Not one space has been leased. And as you drive around Central Maui, you'll find a lot of areas like this with, that have space that's available for leasing. So I just feel that it's really sad. I notice in the um, three-dimensional pictures that you um, saw, nothing shows coming down Hana Highway towards Paia, towards Haleakala, where those of us who live in Central Maui are looking at the view plane. You see in those renderings, looking back on an urban area and industrial development. But the fact of the matter is that's on the edge of that. And beyond that, it is a wetland area. So again, um, you know, it just it seems sad to me. I think in some of the responses that we got back from the, from the developers on, uh, on uh, our comments, Maui Tomorrow's comments on this, they stated, though not currently envisioned or sought, any use of any portion of the structure for other than medical offices would necessarily have to complement and not detract from the primary medical office function. In other words, if doctors don't come and related businesses, then it will be for lease for anybody. And I'll leave it at that. Thank you. King Oakwish from Lahaina. Um, I testified twice before at the two other uh, meetings that we had on this project. Uh, this project this really kind of tears me up. Um, I've missed maybe three planning commission meetings since 2007. Um, in a perfect world, um, in my perfect world, if I were king, uh, I would, we, the planning commission just approved the, uh, the Maui Lani with the Safeway across from Baldwin. I, if I were king, I'd kick the Safeway out and put this building up there because it's right by the hospital and by the other clinic. I just think, you know, I, love, I like the project. The building's beautiful. The people that are doing with it, uh, that are doing the project, I think are pretty cool people. I hang out and have a beer with them any time. But this is just in a really bad spot. It's just that, that pond right there and that view plane is priceless. And the, build, the building, even though it's a really nice building, is going to just totally, completely block everything that's there. And its proximity to the, to the pond is just, I just feel it's too close. I recently spent a few hours shooting video on the property designated as Lot 8. As I was searching for a spot to set up my camera, many birds flew from in and around the path I was on. After I set up and settled in, numerous birds flew onto and away from the project site, and many birds flew over and crisscrossed the lot. The spot I set up on was about 12 feet from the edge of the stream and was about 60 feet from the sanctuary fence. There are currently no um, birds that are on that property at all. They stay inside the wetland. site itself has no birds on the property. Um, they don't nest in there and um, it is divided and separated from the actual pond by the canal.
property at all. They stay inside the wetland. The project site itself has no birds on the property. Um, they don't nest in there and um, it is divided and separated from the actual pond by the canal. that are on that property at all. They stay inside the wetland. The project site itself has no birds on the property. I spotted two ducks coming in for a landing. They were going to fly directly over me, but they saw me. They pulled up and they took a hard 90 and cut out over the pond. I hooked up with a heron there and then I videoed them flying off. And the stilt started going off. Videoing him, and uh, then the heron came around and landed on the other side of the fence. So, in the uh, Wailuku Kahului plan, is an emphasis on preservation of scenic vistas, and um, and certainly this project is massive, and it's on a scenic vista. And I, um, how, you know, how do you address that? The applicant certainly recognizes that you know, a six-story building is, is a large structure. They've, they've taken a lot of attention to the, uh, the landscaping plan for the project, as I noted, to uh, ensure that it uh, provides a good transition, recognizing that it's part of a heavy industrial subdivision. I uh, assume that you're familiar with the um, Wailuku Kahului Community Plan. Yes, to some extent. Yes. Um, they're quite um, specific in here about, I, I'm concerned about the size of the building that you've projected and how it fits in with the Kahului urban design that's outlined in here because it says in here that they, um, in Kahului, the low rise character of the central business district should be maintained. Higher building forms up to six stories should be sited in the central portion of blocks and it mentions that a couple of places in here and I wondered why you chose to put such a large building on the edge of Kahului rather than find some place more interior. In 2006 when we bought this property there wasn't a lot of other real estate available in the economic feasibility price range and the doctors who led this drive are, are at the Maui Clinic now are just close to the, the projected new site and in, in the circle that they were interested in locating there was less to choose from so this site presented an opportunity for us to start with